Hello, I'm the Saku Jar, and hey, once again, it's the time of seven day roguelike reviewing. Uh, last year I did a few, this year I'll do a few more. Uh, apparently, we get to start off with one relatively high production. Uh, I'm saying that mostly because it looks really good and there's music. Doesn't mean anything about what the game itself will be like, but. Okay, so yeah. Oh. Um. Okay, I see. Down here in the corner, there's the three little dots. When you swing your sword, it fills up. And if it's all the way filled up, it pauses. The bow takes a little longer to recharge. And there's a bomb, which is on F. I'm not sure. Oh, nope. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to get used to the way they... Oh, there's the map. That's handy. Um, there doesn't appear to be any way to make the map bigger. But then again, I guess you don't really need to. I wonder if there's any purpose to exploring. Probably. So we'll... There we go. What are these things? Breakable, apparently. Ah! That looks like potions. Hey oh, it was. Go figure. Oop. Don't know why I hit the one. Definitely really high quality game. I'm glad I'm starting on it instead of uh, some of the ones I've uh, previously started on at various points. My eye is itching. That's making this a little harder to play. Also, apparently from what the uh, little info thing on the review page... Oh, that's a bat there. They want us to play an hour or so of the game. Just because some take a little bit of a replay to... To understand. I could definitely see that. So I'll try as well as I can. Uh, probably there's a way to get through those. I don't have it yet, or know how to... Wait! I could try that. We'll see. Okay, no, that doesn't get through it, but that... But the bomb does come back. That doesn't get rid of that either. Okay, good to know. Okay. Definitely gonna have to get used to- Ooh, hello. That was needed. Definitely gonna have to get used to the controls of it, because I'm not doing very good at it. I wonder what was up with the weird thing down there, but whatever. Looks like I went completely- Ah, yeah, there's a little skull. I'm assuming that's like the boss. I completely missed the bat. Definitely fun. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if there's any, uh, change to the weapons. Because as it is, it's definitely a good game but somewhat limited as of the moment. And, uh, I hope it isn't, because it's got more polish on it than some of the uh, other games that aren't 7-day roguelikes, and aren't roguelikes at all. Like, definitely got production qualities here kind of above some of the, uh, even just regular indie games that are out there. The only thing is the, uh, sword thing doesn't seem to go through people. It just, uh, hits one target only, which is going to take a little getting used to. Oh, snap. Tell 
tell you what it sort of reminds me of. It sort of reminds me of uh, what I've seen of Binding of Isaac. Oh. Gah! Let me out of here! Okay, the... The sword has a bit of a knockback. Sword has a bit of a knockback. Need to remember that. Here's the downstairs. Looks like we could just, uh... Go right to the boss for this area. Probably not the best idea. Ooh, that was lucky. There we go. Of course, there's nothing else in there. Yeah, the uh, sword knife thing definitely has a decent knockback to it. why the skeleton wasn't affected by that like I thought it would. Huh. Oh, dang it. I'm definitely not paying enough... Ah, that just fun. I'm not paying enough attention when I enter rooms. I need to be ready. Also, it looks like walking straight. Not the best idea. Looks like a drive-by sword action might be the best option. Mostly because I seem to need to keep moving. Okay, there we go. What are you? I think that made my health larger overall, which once I gain back health is a good thing. So those uh, rooms apparently are... Treasury roomy type things. Oop. Ah, dang it. Oh cool, the uh, slime bounced off the skeleton. There we go. Definitely need more boxes. Good, good. Now we're really full on health again. That's wonderful. Uh, I wonder how far I can manage to get on my first try. Weird. This is running horribly. You know what it sort of reminds me of? It sort of reminds me a little bit of Binding of Isaac. Which is a reasonable comparison, seeing as... Though it does have a melee... Dang it! Melee attack, which is fun. There we go. Oh, dang it! I stood still. Need to stop that. Damn it, I am taking a lot of damage there. Alright, managed to actually take care of this room. I think it was just the skeletons. The skeletons don't seem to be that hard to deal with. So that's always a thing. There's some health. Just a bit more health. Looks like we just have one more room. Uh, I think I won't bother too much with exploring. Hmm. Also, I'm not using the bombs at all. Okay, I don't know what that was. Space bar apparently does something. Also, that's the same boss. Admittedly, I'm still not very good at the boss, but that's a problem with myself rather than... That didn't work out. Well, that worked out. Completely missing those, those shots. Oh, there we go. This will be the downstairs. Ah, dang it! I completely missed the chest. Okay, now let's see. We are here. We want to get to over there. Is there something... 
Oh snap, um... It's a little bit beyond me. I'm going to die. Correction, I have died. Oh, that was definitely a thing. Hmm. I wonder if the space bar would have been. I wonder if the space bar is like a room clear bomb. Because that wouldn't be too out of line. Oh, hello. So those aren't specifically the uh, reward rooms, those are just random loot. Well, that's definitely nice. I'm not going to complain about that. Though I definitely think I'm going to start just uh, aiming directly for... Oh, hey, it's actually an empty room. That's nice. It's a little worried because so far it's been basically just... The, uh... Oh, well, no, that's an empty room, too. Oh, there we go. I was a little worried for a second there. Maybe something glitched. Which is always a possibility with these games. Uh, some of them have been, uh, bug-fixed and stuff past the seven-day limit. Okay, I didn't mean to actually run into that. That's a thing. Yeah, it looks like the slimes are the important ones to get rid of, uh, right away, just because they're the ones that actually charge me, and the skeletons don't seem to do anything. Nope, that didn't work. There's no health bar on him, so I don't have a clue. I'm doing better this time. Oh, snap! You can actually do that during, uh... Yeah, the bow shots definitely do quite a... quite minimal damage compared to the other stuff. That took a long time to work out. And down the stairs we go. Um... The fire room over here. There was something there, but you know. Can I actually stop here for a moment. Ah, there we go. That's the thing I want. Oh, and apparently when you exit the room, the thing goes away. Good to know. Um, there's one more fire room. Let's. Do I want to go to it? Eh, it's a little far away. I wanna. I wanna try. Ah, dang. Actually, I took damage. I wanna try to get farther down in level just to see what else there is, if there is anything else. Because, uh, definitely for seven days, this is pretty accomplished, all things considered. Um, and the music is nice, so can't really complain about that. Let's try to melee the boss. I definitely hope they work on this more, because it's not a bad game. Also, uh, I should probably uh, keep that to myself until after I've gone down a few more floors to make sure it isn't just I'm on the easy level sort of thing. Um, yeah, I'll go check out the fire rooms. one thing. Though once again I'm not sure if that's because it can only kill one thing or it's because of- ah dang it! Or something else. There we go. And we'll head over here. Oh, empty room. Definitely like that. Uh, if you always have stuff happening it actually gets boring after a while. a thing that comes directly from the original Dungeons & Dragons. There's actually rules for making sure 
You don't just fill every room with something. Huh. I find it somewhat interesting that the slimes are actually somewhat easier than the other stuff here. Mostly just because slimes tend to be one of those uh, lower tier mobs. With skeletons generally being above them. Though that's uh, probably something completely separate from everything else, but it's a thing nonetheless. Yeah, so let's get out of here. Dang it! I always pause just as soon as I enter the room. That tends to give me a bit of damage. Huh, a little bit derpy there. Not a problem. Same boss again. Definitely starting to suspect that I've seen what the game has to offer. Also, I think I glitched the boss out there a little bit. Um, there's a fire room over there. I don't care. And it definitely looks like if I can manage to uh, perfect the uh, drive-by sword slash. Though, as I think I noted, it looks like it only can hit one enemy before it stops working. Which can be a bit of a problem. Get the health back, fight the boss. There's a fireplace on the way to the boss, which is nice. There we go. Take those out. A single bat, definitely not a problem. Um, definitely hope they keep working on this. Uh, a few more mob types. Something actually happening with the weapons. And then you'd have an actual bit of a game here. Also, uh, I burn pink. I haven't mentioned it up until now because it hasn't really bothered me, but at this point my eyes are starting to hate me. Uh, just a thought. Maybe not magenta. Wonderful color. A little excessive. Okay, that was interesting. It looks like it prioritizes mobs over the uh, terrain, so you can very much uh, cheese it a bit there. Also, can you hit them through the wall? Ish. are definitely starting to uh, revolt against this treatment. Oh, there we go. I took care of it. Down a level. We're now on level 7. That's nice. Um, Looks like we need to go down. Oh, quick thinking. Uh, dang it! There we go. Dang it! I'm trying to be tricky there, and it backfired on me a little bit. Oh, nope, needed to use the sword. 
I'd use the sword, it would have knocked the slime away, which would have been the desirable outcome. Oops, missed that one. I'm trying to perfect my uh, use of the uh, arrows there. Not quite good enough yet for my own sake. Dang it, don't run away. There we go. Oh my god. My ear is itching. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's just because I might have been, uh, been playing mostly silent games recently, so that hasn't been a bother. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any reason to go up. There we go. Huh. I'm definitely getting the feeling that we've probably seen what the game has to offer at the moment. Uh, mostly because we are... I'm definitely going to hold out for at least 30 minutes. Uh, I don't think I'll make it full hour just because the eye strain. But that's just how life goes sometimes. Uh, looks like there's no shortcut there. Doesn't matter if we go up or down. Ah, dang it! Looks like you can interrupt their charge with a slash. Or not interrupt, but you can damage them while they're charged. It does look like this map is the full map, so everything you see is what you got. The bomb does seem to damage those things. I don't know what's up with this room. This room is kind of weird. I don't know what it's supposed to be doing specifically. But whatever. There we go. What do we have in here? Ah, get one of these. I wonder if there's a limit to how much max health you can have. And again, I also wonder if there's a limit to uh, how many floors you can do. There we go. It looks like three arrows and a sword slash. One, two. Yep, it's three arrows and a sword slash. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on. I don't want to approach you. Ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Looks like it's 18 slashes to kill the boss. Give or take a couple. So that's interesting. I wonder how many bombs. Oh, good, there's a couple there. Uh, I need a slime. I want to test bombs out. Hello, slime. Okay, a bomb is an insta-kill on the slime. Good to know. Nope. And yes, it does appear that the bomb is single target. There we go. Oop. And 
good. We've got health here. What will be down here? Hopefully health. Yes, health. And a couple of boxes. Ooh, more health. Exactly what I needed. We're currently on level 10, going on to level 11 after I defeat the boss. Which, I think at this point... Definitely if once we hit level 11, stuff doesn't change at all. I'm just going to assume that the... This is what the game has to offer. Yeah, it looks like this might be all the game has to offer. Uh, the ice strain is starting to get to me, so I'll just... Let's see. We're almost at 30 minutes, so I'll go for a full 30 minutes before I finish, but... Uh, decent game. Turn down the pink. Uh, it's pretty good infinite dungeon delving, though. Uh, maybe more enemies in a room? Though, then again, I did get that one instant where the thing was, like, filled with stuff. It looks like the skeletons actually take one extra arrow shot. One, two, three, four. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay, that's interesting. One, two, three, four. Five, six, yeah, six shots. So yeah, it does look like. Wait, no. I thought a slash was. Huh. Uh, have I glitched the boss out? Oh, hello. You can actually explode the boss, the bomb prematurely with an arrow. That's actually cool. Wow. I'm glad I uh, didn't stop before that. Um, it looks like the boss is right here, so let's uh, get that over with. Nope, that was a little too quick on the draw. Dang it. I died. <sighs> well, that was Cloak and Tower. I didn't try the spacebar thing. I need to I need to try the spacebar thing at least once. See what it does. Okay, it looks like it makes you temporarily invulnerable. I can't tell. Hmm. Oh, and you can apparently run into the fire. Yeah, it makes you temp- Okay, yeah. It makes you temporarily invulnerable. There we go. Looks like the bomb can insta-kill yourself. But yeah, Cloak and Tower. An interesting game. Heavy on the pink. My eyes will hate me for this later. But overall... I think it was a relatively good game, especially for a seven-day roguelike. Um, let's see. I guess they do kind of want me to review it, review it, uh, and they have their own little uh, review-y thing. Give me a second. Okay, let's see. Completeness. I'll give it a three, as it seems that it's completed without what it wanted to do. Um, and it's relatively well put together and everything seems to work. I'm just going to point out a little more variety, a little less pink. Uh, which brings us to number two, aesthetics. Uh, if I was just going by the color, I'd put it to one. Variety, spice of life. Um, try not using eye burn. Uh, again, I don't know how to complain when I, uh, 
I definitely like Microline and Dwarf Fortress, so that's a thing. Uh, but I'm giving this a 2. Am I giving it a 2? Yes, I'm giving it to. Yeah, aesthetic, I'm giving it a two. Uh, it's definitely very nice, though, so keep that in mind. I'm giving it a two just because I really dislike the aesthetic somewhat. No, no, that's the incorrect. That's. Don't. Stop. I didn't mean what I just said. Uh, what I mean to say is. The aesthetic is in and of itself okay, but there's not enough of it. Once again, variety, spice of life. This is very much... I just keep coming back to the pink stuff. Anyway, next up, fun, 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 fun. Uh, I'm going to give it a three. It... Even though it's the same stuff over and over, it's got a good bit of tactics actually in it, and I like that. Uh, definitely was, definitely was interesting enough. Um, next up is innovation. Uh, in case you haven't guessed already, it's a scale of one to three. Uh, integers only, no zeros. Blah blah blah. Anyway, innovation. I'm going to say. I'm gonna give it a two. And hmm, it's only a two only because I've already seen Binding of Isaac. And this is very good, but it follows in the footsteps of Binding of Isaac. Does a good job for a seven day roguelike, of course. Anyway, next up is scope, scope of the project. Actually, I'm going to have to refer back to the uh, instructions and check out what they said for still, because I can't remember quite what that was supposed to be. Uh, how ambitious was this project? Rich, deep content, large... Uh, a two. This is what I expect from a rogue, from a seven-day rogue. Uh, it, in some ways, it was above and beyond. In other ways, it wasn't quite. Uh... I'd probably have been willing to give it a 3 if they even just palette swapped the slimes and stuff and made them slightly different. But, as it is, three enemies with a boss? That's a thing. Uh, and finally there's roguelikiness. I don't particularly like, yet I have to agree that it goes here. Because it's 7 day roguelikes, not 7 day games, period. Yeah, I'm going with two because I'm looking. I look back at the uh, instruction thing, and two is roguelike like. So yeah, it's like Binding Isaac. It's a roguelike like. So yeah, that'll uh, finish up with this. If you liked this video, please leave a like. Definitely something. Uh, if the uh, high stream got to you a little bit, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Zach, your dragon? Son.